everybody, Greg here. I am here with my Sea Star, and I'm in Williams Bay, Wisconsin. And tonight we are going to try to image the double cluster in Perseus. The cluster is so wide that I believe I have to do a mosaic to be able to get both the uh, the double clusters within one image. So let's go ahead and go to the double cluster and see what we have. Gonna search for double cluster. Alright, that looks like it. We're gonna hit go to I haven't used a sea star for quite a while. I've been concentrating on imaging Saturn and Jupiter with my Edge HD8 and AVX. So let's see what we can do here tonight. And um, ooh, that looks pretty good. I can see the uh, I can see the double cluster. I may have to adjust that a little bit to uh, try to get both objects. Once we get through the initialization process and it starts imaging, I'll go to the star map and see what everything looks like with the outline of the sensor. That uh, you can see that's how I've done mosaics is um, you can easily overlap one image to the next by checking out the outline of the sensor. Yeah, okay, so here if you look at the star map, you can see the blue outline is where the scope is, and the red outline is where you want to move the sea stars to, and you can just overlap like this and get consecutive images and build a mosaic yourself. So I may go ahead and do that and uh, try to build a mosaic of three images for the double cluster here. So this is looking pretty good. I think we'll check back after 20 minutes and maybe move to take another panel of the mosaic and uh, manually put the mosaics together. I've got a uh, video about how I did that for the Andromeda Galaxy. I'll leave a link down below. All right, so it turns out I was a little bit out of focus and I did an autofocus here. So we're going to restart the images from scratch with a new focus. And those stars did look a little bloated. So let's see if these look a little better. You can see these are a finer, a finer dot. It's a finer resolution here. All right, so that's looking better, I think, and we will check back in 15 or 20 minutes and uh, probably take another panel to add to this panel and see if we can build a little bit of a mosaic to get the complete double cluster. All right, everybody, we got about one minute to go on the first panel, and I did want to point out that when I create my mosaic, I take the screenshots here and enhance those a little bit in Photoshop and then overlay them together. So uh, once you take a screenshot here, and what you do is you click on the triple dots, you click on share, you get this screenshot here and that gets saved on a file location on your phone depending on your uh, type of phone. I've got a link to all the file locations that I know about on the C-Star. I'll leave a link to that video down below. But you just take these screenshots. You don't have to process a bunch of the FITS files in Deep Sky Stacker or PixInsight or anything else. Just a very simple process to manipulate the screenshots here, the JPEG screenshots. And that, uh, for me, that seems to be good enough. That's what I've been using for all my videos here. So, okay, so we're done at 15 minutes. So we're gonna stop the enhancing and we're gonna move to the next panel. So here you can see the red outline is the target. 
So I want to move the C star just a little bit over and try to get the lower left hand edge. And then uh, hit go to here. Finding object. Object is center. Start enhancing image. All right, so there you go. So this will be the lower left hand section of the double cluster. And I'll just overlay that on the previous image. Then I'll go over again and do the same thing on the upper right hand side of the double cluster and start creating the mosaic with that. And that's basically really all there is to it here. Uh, just a little patience and you'll be able to get some mosaics until they come out with the new firmware that has a mosaic mode. So I'm not sure when that's going to be out there. I heard that it was in beta, but I'm not really sure uh, when or if it will be available. And that's it for my go-to of the double cluster and my attempt to do a mosaic. I'll leave some of the processed images for you at the end. Clear skies, everybody.